Ladies and gentlemen, Tactical Vance here, and welcome to a ship review. Now today, we are taking a look at the Reclaimer. Now this is a industrial salvage ship, specializes in long-range salvage, jump capability, skate pods, drones, loads of cool stuff on this one. If you're looking for a ship that is the size of three tower blocks, it's definitely not one of the fastest movers. This is sort of expected for a ship of this size. We're going to take an in-depth look around, starting on the outside and then moving in the inside as well. You can't really grasp the size of it when you're sort of floating it. It's only when you start getting close to the thing that you actually realise how blooming big it is. It's got a pretty good weapon loadout, but it's going to be no dogfighter by any means. This is more like point defence, really. You've got the little cockpit down there. Very good view in the cockpit, actually, I must admit. It's pretty decent. Let's have a look. We can jump inside in a second and uh, give it a go as well. Two seats there, co-pilot and cockpit seat as well. The big claw of death down here. Which you can't use as of yet. And these floodlights. These floodlights we've seen in the pictures before. These are blinding when they're on full beam. And then that massive claw system as well. There's a big crusher internally as well for crushing up the materials. And we can take a look at that when we jump inside. Weapons on the side there. These huge arms that all animate when it goes into landing. But currently, in this free flight, there's nowhere you can actually land that's actually big enough. I tried doing it on the pad and these, the arms just, just hang over the pad. It's just won't even go near it. Skate pods on the side there as well. Absolutely massive, isn't it? There's a docking collar on the top there. Guns are massive as well. I mean, if you actually get closer to them, you see what I mean? And from, from that distance, they don't look that big, but when you're right next to the thing, you go... Massive, isn't it? Really puts it into scale. Now, so far, i found the easier entrances to get in further down here, but we fly down the back. We'll go over this way, first of all. God, this map absolutely looks awesome, doesn't it? Now, you can't go too close, because a couple of areas at the moment are a little bit buggy, where you just sort of clip out a little bit, and it goes a little bit wrong. So let's move further down here. They look pretty cool, don't they? That animation effect looks nice. This is going to be a right mission to repair this thing when it's damaged. You're going to need a few people to help you with this one. When you get to ships this side, you're going to need people helping you, because this is so big. Right down the end here, Jesus Christ. Doors everywhere on this thing as well. Bay here as well, entry bay. More weapons here. God, shame we couldn't spin this round actually so we have a bit more light underneath. I'll show you where the doors are. We've actually picked the dark side now, which is uh, not the most intelligent thing, but hey. You can see it from here actually. It's just on the side up here. Now these have three doors. Reminds me of, of Alien. I know the artwork was based around that, but you'll see what I mean. At the moment, these doors don't quite work properly. Really, what should happen is, is when you open this door, you, know, you should move into here, and then you should only bed open that door if the one behind me actually closes. At the moment. You can actually open that door and the exit door. There's no depressurization. I'm going to close it anyway. This looks really cool. Look at these, look. So you can imagine it. If you've got to go and repair something outside, you'll come in here, get your suit on, go out the door. Exactly like Alien, isn't it? Them suits look so cool in there, don't they? Amazing. They have weapons on as well. So these are all going to have like repair tools and stuff like that. First aid, you can't open any of these cabinets yet. And then, let's shut the door. I 
so far most of the floors there are these ladders I'm trying to avoid the ladders because the ladders have more grief than they're actually worth the ship split into two areas I would say habitation and then the industrial sort of area where it sort of manages the actual mechanics of the ship another rail lock on the other side same thing so parallel doors here does look like it's going through its damaged state but it's even doing that in the uh, in the main one at the moment first impressions when you come in looks pretty good I like what they've done with the smoke I think it does add atmosphere I think if you take that away totally I know it is cycling in a damaged state it does make the environments feel look immersive definitely lots of work's gone into this isn't it let's start going this way anyway Now, some people don't like all this material. Some people think that it should be a lot cleaner. My take is this is a, like a... It's like, I don't want to sort of upset the people who've got it, but it's more like a bin lorry, isn't it, really? I mean, it's going to be a bit dirty and like this and have all, you know, rust. Look, here, look. It's going to be like this. It's a hardcore industrial crusher, if you want to see it that way. I mean, if you look at the, the concrete crushers that are on the road, they're not really polished and nice and clean because they're crushing loads of dirty stuff and people coming from the crusher area on this ship are going to be walking into these quarters simple as that we are in the captain's quarters and i think actually outside says oh when the door closed there we are captain's quarters crew quarters if you look around the place it does tell you this is very much like the sort of the alien windows you get on alien isn't it be good if these little armored shields go up as well can't do anything with that. Seat in here as well. Over the back here we got your bed, which you can save and sleep in. We have bathroom here for the captain. Yeah, no frills here. If you want to be spoiled as a captain, you're just getting basic stuff. I am the invisible man. That's really weird, look at that. Just notice that, look. In the mirror, look at the toilet seat. It's all weird. And then behind me, it's okay. I know Star Citizen do have reflections as well, but we're, we're waiting for them, you know what I mean, so you can actually see the character model. Um, we have a door here, just to whack your stuff in. Put your little collection bits in there, maybe nice little bits you find along the way. Not going to get in the bed, there's no reason to really. A little cabinet over here as well. You should better put your stuff in. Not bad, I suppose. Going to be able to see all the ship information here as well. You can sit in the seat. Doesn't really aid you anything by sitting in the seat at the moment. Doesn't even turn at the moment. Over here. More storage as well. So you can store more items. Now keep in mind, when you're on a ship, you're not going to be able to just spawn in on any suit or any weapon. You're going to have to bring it with you. Having all this storage space is going to be important. And you will be able to, later on down the line, lock your door so people just won't go in there and take your stuff. And same with the little doors as well. Look at these, look. That is really realistic, isn't it? Done a really good job with these materials. I mean, looking up there, you wouldn't even know that it was a game. Absolutely mind-blowing, isn't it? They've taken quite a lot of inspiration from sort of industrial buildings as well. You can see by all this sort of artwork that they've pulled in as well. Looks like they've got the uh, chill out mood lighting on in here. Actually, it might be the light coming through the window. And it is running through a damaged state, so. We've got the cupboards over again. Same sort of thing. Sleeping for your mates. You think that this is all. Oh, right, they've got a crew quarters. You actually need it to put your stuff and sleep in it. So this is going to be used as, as gameplay and physical functionalities. This is not sort of whiffy, oh, here's a cupboard, here's this. This is all going to be usable stuff. They're all locked for some reason. Oh, maybe it's a bit bugged out and you can see it says closed there. The animation's not uh, triggering. Another door there. That one looks well finished. So how many of them cupboards do you get? You get one. So it looks like you get one of them ones each, look, for everyone. That one, <laughs> this guy don't get a door. 
And then over here... Shower. He even comes with some uh, shower gel there as well. One with shower gel, get no lights in that one. Toilet. One. That's a magazine there, should have a look at that. This is something to do with Star Citizen, you can see a picture there, look. Flush the loo, can we flush the loo? We can, I'm sure we can sit on the loo like most of the ones we can. Sinks as well. General sort of stuff. Shavers there. God, this is a minging. Someone have cleaned up. Oh, look, the toilet roll's really near to that water as well. Nothing like a soggy toilet roll, is there? Toothpaste, all sorts of stuff. First aid there as well. Some displays here as well. This may give you ship information, basic stuff, where you can just access a console anywhere to get ship information. So, crew quarters. Down this way. Canteen area. Can sit in all these seats as well. If you hire AI, the AI will be wandering around doing their own thing, man, the stations and so on. Nice view out the window again. Definitely see something out the window. It's not great visibility, is it? It's not the purpose. Add to the environments a little bit. Some random stuff here. Now this just goes around the other way. This is just a loop. It goes into here. Docking collar. Top docking collar. It's the only one it's got by the, from what I can see. I haven't seen one on the bottom as yet. Can't actually do anything with it. Guessing it needs to be docked. Hence the reason why it's got these. I guess when the docking collar opens and it connects, this is to stop depressurization. There will be depressurization in the game as well, keep in mind. If that door does open and that is open, depressurization will start to happen. And the way that it would work, it will flow between the corridor, the next room, the next room, depending on what doors are open. I'm sure there'd be safety stuff to hopefully prevent that from happening. Oh well, it's quite obvious uh, where we are now. It says on the wall there. Tech deck. Escape pods. Can't get in them yet. They do look fully flushed out and finished. Can't see why not. They could just activate them and just eject yourself and set a beacon off. Three of them there. Over this side. Random cupboard, this one. That's not saying that it will... It could have functionality later on down the game. Maybe, maybe this is going to be... Server gone down. Computer needs rebooting or something. Maybe that's what this is to do with. We know there's going to be a sort of a mini game aspect of it to some extent. I think that would be a good use of this room, I think. be pretty cool as well. More of these server things. Way to tell what the stations are, you can just hover on them as well, look. So it tells you there. Drone room, this is where all the drones are deployed in from in here. You can get in these seats, but these displays don't even light up yet, so there's sort of no point really. Going in here as well. It's got an airlock because the doors will open, i.e. to the outside. Drones obviously sit on there, they deploy, one comes in. No doubt you're about to do repairs in here as well for the drones, if they're damaged. Depending on if you have to go out and repair it or it can fly back itself and you've got to repair it. 
to see the clamps there as well to hold them. And the doors as well, pretty straightforward, don't it? We can go down this way. Like I said, I prefer using the elevators, it makes it much easier. That does look pretty cool, doesn't it? Looks a bit unstable there, doesn't it? I would rather have a door on that or something. Maybe they, I think the door. Oh look, it looks like the door might shut. There's no buttons around here to shut the door. Does look pretty cool though. Like I said, you can use them stairs. Found them to be a little bit buggy at the moment. Okay, so next option. It says there, gravity generator. We're going to go to. Could try the turret out. Let's give it a go. Can be a bit dodgy so far going up these steps. Now it's not here yet, but this is where it will be. And you're going to go, well, that doesn't look like a turret. Yeah, I know. So you can get back down. Cool. Well, that worked quite well. And then we got... Oh, it's quite self-explanatory, really. It says it there, doesn't it? On this lift, you only have one option, and that's up or down. There's another lift that I'll show you in a minute. Okay, let's start from the front. Got a cockpit. So here we are. This is where all the action happens. Captain seat, co-pilot seat, and if you look up there, see all the controls there? They all fold down when you sit in the seat. We're going to do that in a second. Let's have a quick look around in here first, day. Eh? Viewing is obviously absolutely brilliant, which you sort of expect for a ship like this, particularly because that whopper claw is directly below us. Yeah, going to be pretty important, that, isn't it? Just looks amazing out there anyway, doesn't it? Really does, doesn't it? Star over there as well. Anyway, let's do that. Let's get in the seat. So here we are. This is what you get. Doesn't really affect the view at all. Pretty good in it because you can see down here as well. See here. Viewing angles are no critique really. What you expect for this sort of type of ship. You know, all the normal controls here. Power off, flight mode, general sort of stuff. I don't want to move it because once it starts moving it's actually quite difficult to keep it still. What I mean is you stop. And you might be moving like so slow that you don't even notice. A couple of times I've got out and been there for a couple of minutes and the ship's been rotating. This side. Okay, it says there. Tractor beam operator. There's nothing really you can look at do with this at the moment. So these two stations here, there's one here as well. Job of these guys is to tractor beam whatever you want to be salvaging. Lighting's really nice in it. It's really well done. Makes a massive difference to the environments when, when you get the sort of lighting right. Moving on back here. I like them little handles. They're pretty cool, aren't they? Simple things. Please me. <laughs> now this room is it's a combination of desks. You've got a scanning station, for obviously this is for scanning for materials or debris or ships or... And then this one... The remote turret. And what you can sort of see by the station, oh you can't see the controls out at the moment. That's weird, isn't it? Okay, I'll show you, look. If I get out of the station, you see what I mean? 
There we go, that's done it. For some reason they weren't there. It's a bit weird, wasn't it? So you can see the difference between the stations here. Look, you've got a keyboard here, screen, scanning. This one is going to be, you know, two sticks. And then around here, another scanning station. And then around here, another turret. It looks like you have to man it to get it to come forward. I don't even see the controls further back there. Got ladders everywhere. You can go to all the decks and everywhere else by going to the landers, but like I said, some of them are a bit buggy and it's just as easy sometimes just to go up and down the lift, which we'll we get to that in a bit. The crusher itself, this is where everything gets dropped into. So it's been tractor beam, claws got it, dropped in here, gets crushed to pieces and then you get your output of your material at the end of it. We can see all them locations because we're still in... I would call this still habitation, really. We're still in the area of, you know, the actual... I'm not going to say crew quarters, but where all the crew are sort of normally running around. Most of the back stuff is like storage and processing and stuff like that. So if you've got a job up here, you're probably doing all right. Anyone down the, further down that end, you're going to look like a coal miner. <laughs> what we got here? More skate pods didn't notice them last time actually and then we got our lift I think I missed anything there stuck there and we'll go to the other lift as well now What I did find with this ship is not as bad as I originally thought. I thought it was going to be... When I went around the, the uh, Starfarer for the first time, I found it very, very difficult to navigate. I actually find this easier. I think this is easier to navigate. It's well put together. Right, so now, if you just think as that, that end down that side as a habitation area... The whole lot. I know you could say that there's two floors there, really. And this section is sort of it is separate. It's what, it, that's what it feels like, anyway. And there's quite a lot of locations to go to here. Now, this is not one of the fastest lifts in the world. It's probably plated for carrying massive loads as well. This has the ability to go exterior as well. Little bit of tip there, when you come out that door, just maybe just do a little jump over that lip. A couple of times I've fallen through there. Salvage balcony. Now, I did wonder why, what's the point of the salvage balcony? I'm not really sure what they're going to add in here. Maybe it's, you've got loads of stuff in here and then someone goes, oh look what we found or look what we've salvaged. Or you want to come and have a look to see what's been salvaged. Or, I suppose, it does add a little bit of defensive gameplay somewhere to shoot from if someone does board you other than that there's not much on the balcony really but I suppose it'd be pretty cool when all these machines are flying along the, everything's happening in there and you can watch it it look pretty cool but other than that I can't really see a use for it I think it just adds a little bit more to the gameplay maybe from the FPS point of view so next up next up on our Elevator journey. Now this is obviously just below... We were just up there a minute ago on that deck, weren't we? So now we're on the ground floor. Processing. I'm not entirely sure what sort of processing we're going to see in here, to be fair. There is this big door as well. Another warning, do not go down there. Doesn't end up well, you can't get back out. Can't open this door yet. I've tried opening it a few times. Couldn't see any buttons around the place to open it. No, can't see anything. 
Like I said, you don't want to go down there. We're going down to that next floor anyway, so we can see the bottom of this section in a minute. Different stations here, as you can see, these little slots. So I imagine all this would be filled up with stuff that needs processing. It's only when you come here and you get in this lift. I mean, the, the first bit of the tour we did, running around the sort of the front section. Yeah, okay. It seems big. But now when you come down here and you start going up and down this lift, you think, Jesus Christ, it's massive, isn't it? <laughs> That's the bottom of that hole. Even because you can't jump out of that little ditch, unfortunately. Once there's a lot of activity going on here, it'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? We do have that one as well, which is exit to surface. We're going to try it. Quite well designed, if you think about it. This lift actually maintains and operates everything internally on all floors as a lift. And it also acts as a lift for the exterior. How cool is that? So you could bring in a vehicle in here or anything you wanted. Drive it in. Whack it on the ramp. In fact, you could probably put it on any deck you wanted. Anything you put on here is going to pretty much fit in the doors, isn't it? Because the doors are as wide as the ramp. Well put together. I really like what they've done with this. I think they've made a layout of a ship that's very um, intuitive. So now you know, anywhere here is pretty much, you know, all the crew quarters and stuff like that. You've got a little lift that takes you into the command centre. And then you've got this, which is all the sort of the processing storage. Well put together. Now you can go down all of these little things as well, but it just causes... That causes me confusion. I go down one of them and I, if I go into the lift and press a button and I know what floor I've gone to, it makes it a lot easier for me. I was going to try and jump through there. Tried it a couple of times just to, so I can get in there and have a look. Looks dangerous, hence the reason why I wanted to do it. <laughs> There are a couple of other things here which I haven't uh, gone into yet. When the, one of them is this. This is basically exit you outside. It's like a one-man lift to outside. Now, the weird thing at the moment, it's almost like... I don't want to call it escape pod. You go in it and it just ejects you outside. My take is, is that looks like it's on a lift and runners. And I think that what should happen is, is when you click on it, it takes you outside and it will lay you on the floor. This is for you to exit outside now on the floor because you're in space when you go down and it stops you just float off the ladder when you're in that animation you can't actually look around so you don't really know but it will exit you outside the point is here if you're up here doing something and you will get out your seat and someone goes come and have a look out here you can run over here click on this and you'll be out in two seconds which is important I guess So, all in all, what do I think? I'm really impressed with it. I think the layout's really good. Design's good. Flows really well. I'm glad they got this door here because I think that's quite important as well. Really impressive. The exciting bit now is to see this claw and to see the whole entire ship functioning as a salvage ship and actually crushing stuff and making money. And also, I suppose, the gun turrets as well. You can control some of the gun turrets, the majority of the fours from the front, from the front seat. So there's guns on this side, this side and on the top, the forward-facing ones. You can fire them, 
Um, it's just the rest of the turrets at the moment and the manned ones, sorry, the unmanned ones that you can't do at the moment. Hopefully over a period of time we'll see them introduce these features so we can start using them as well. And once they add all these features into game, it will really make the ship come to life because you're about to play with your friends and actually have active roles to do each, which would be really, really exciting. So overall, I'm very, very impressed with the ship. It is absolutely fantastic. Frame rate on the ship is very, very good as well. Very, very healthy as well. No major complaints. Um, no major complaints at all. So if you've got one of these guys, let me know in the comments what you think of the ship so far if you tried it out. Or what are you looking forward to doing in Star Citizen when you get your reclaimer? Anyway, that's everything from me, guys. Thanks for listening. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye now.